Hey guys, um, so it's a Saturday night and I'm kind of just chilling, so like really chilling, like kind of not doing anything. I was like earlier today though, I was working on my computer, um, finalizing some of our business stuff before we launch sales next week, so I was kind of doing that all day, and then I watched my dad perform in his band, so now I'm kind of just chilling, kind of tired, so I figured it would be a perfect opportunity to make a video and talk to you guys. Um, so I want to talk about something that like I feel like doesn't really get talked about a lot in I guess not in the fitness industry in general I mean in general it does but not so much I guess applied to um, Fitness, but it's definitely something we all deal with and it's judgment um, And it's specifically like judgment within the gym and within like I want to say the industry too because there's a lot of judgment in the industry with you know pe different people's opinions and methods and whose scientific theories work better and Blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So, um, I wanted to shed some light on that a little bit. So, I mean, a lot of, of course, like, a lot of, you know, people obviously are against judging, you know, like, the typical things that are being judged for in the gym, like, let me give for example, like, not, you know, I'm not offending anybody, I'm just saying in general, but, like, you know, most people, like, nowadays don't judge, like, overweight people in the gym, you know, now everybody um, mostly, which they should, anyways, um, you know, respect anybody trying to get fit, trying to lose weight, like, that aspect of judgment normally isn't as big of a factor, um, although I will, like, talk about that, too, but I want to talk about more, like, judgment, um, within the sport and within, like, I don't know, the general, like, a lot of people my age, especially, I'm turning 20 next week, so I just, like, the younger, like, you know, in their 20s, a lot of, like, people are really judgmental in this sport, and, like, I don't understand, like, this, like, fitness is not that important, like, I mean, I'm not trying to be, like, you know, talk, like, you know, play down how hard it is to bodybuild, and what, I mean, I compete, so I know, but it's, like, it's not something that it needs to be taken so seriously to the point where you're literally judging and belittling other people because they don't do things the way that you do them. You know, just because, like, you know, somebody doesn't know every scientific study that's most optimal, um, you know, for a gaining phase or a fat loss phase or a competition prep, whatever the case may be, doesn't mean that they're stupid. And it doesn't mean that you have the right to judge them and to shove a bunch of information down their throat that they really don't want. So, like, I just, I don't know, I have a problem with, like, people, like, you know, judging other people for their lack of knowledge on certain topics. And that shouldn't be something where, you know, you're sitting there and, you know, like almost be, yeah, like belittling the person. You should simply just share the info if they ask. And if they don't ask and you're trying to be helpful, like there's a way to say it in a helpful way without judging them. And so I guess that's the first point of judgment is what I want to talk about. It's like in the gym of and outside the gym, I guess, too, in fitness in general, um, is judgment with knowledge. Like, you, like, I don't know, have you been judged but yourself by someone else because you didn't know something they knew or, you know, they thought their way was better? Or even, I don't know, like, I, people come up to me all the time at the gym and it's so aggravating because I'm on specific training programming. Like, I know training, I know nutrition very well. Like, I know what I'm doing. And I'll get this person that comes up, you know, and tries to be a know-it-all and tries to tell me that, you know, what I'm doing isn't most optimal or whatever, or, you know, try to say that I'm going to hurt myself in some way if I'm doing, like, banded hyperextensions. I had someone come up to me and say that I was going to break my neck and die and fall over because I was going to snap a cord in my neck and there's no even pressure on my neck when I'm doing that. So, I don't know. Um, basically, like... I don't know, I just, I can't stand judgment in the gym like that, and and especially in the industry. Like, if, I'm just going to give an example, a broad kind of example, but it might be specific to some, but it's going to be broad. Um, if, okay, someone, okay, someone that doesn't know, like, the ins and outs of nutrition science, like, you don't need to make them feel stupid and judge them. Like, I would never say to somebody, if somebody didn't know that, let me see for an example, um, that's a good, that's a good example. Okay, if someone, if someone was, was doing a detox, and, and, okay, first of all, there's no, there's no, like, that a detox doesn't help, 
your liver or like that it's bad. It's, but I hate the people that are like that blatantly like belittle the person that is doing a, a detox, let's just say, and they're not even doing an unhealthy detox. They're just like eating whole food, fruits and vegetables in shakes versus eating meals, but they're still getting a good enough calories in. They're not like doing anything you know, extreme, and you'll get the person that'd be like, why are you doing a detox? You, you know, you have a liver for that. And, like, that's, like, belittling the person because they maybe not, they maybe don't know the functions of your liver or, like, why, you know, maybe they want to just do an extra, like, little boost of something to make them feel better. Like, why do you have to shove your, it, it's a difference between giving helpful advice and then just completely judging the person and completely belittling them just because they don't know what you know. And there's so much of that in the fitness industry now, like especially, sorry, my points now are kind of getting out of order. I'm just going to kind of talk now because now I'm kind of on a roll. So there's just so much of it in the fitness industry now, like especially with, okay, I'm a flexible dieter. I follow if it fits your macros. I've been a flexible dieter for probably, I want to say a good two and a half years now. And, um, so, I mean, of course I don't, you know, do a strict meal plan. I don't restrict foods, but there's still people that do, and it doesn't give you the right to sit there and force your information down them to where they, to where, to where you're judging them and making them feel stupid. There's a difference between looking out for somebody's health. Like for instance, I have a friend who she's wants to get into bodybuilding and she's under, you know, somebody that's making her do a really strict meal plan and it's really, really strict. She's doing like two hours of cardio a day. That friend, I pull her aside because she already doesn't have the greatest mental relationship with food. At that point, I'm going to pull my friend aside, you know, and, and talk to her about it and explain to her flexible dieting, explain to her actual nutrition science, but not in a way where I'm judging her for not knowing or for, you know, like trying to force my, um, my knowledge down her throat. It's just me suggesting as a friend, having been through an eating disorder, having been through restrictive dieting, having been through bad coaches through, um, competition preps, it, you know, like me looking out for my friends so she doesn't go through, you know, a worse problem with food than she is now, or doesn't develop body dysmorphia or just, you know, even worse problems than she is now. So that's like me looking out for her versus you have people, especially the people now that are all preaching flexible dieting, like, I understand you do if it fits your macros, flexible dieting. You don't need to preach it 24-7. You don't need to sit there and post these these things that are just they make you they make you sound like like you're full of yourself. And there's so much of that in the industry where like where like people who are just getting into fitness, like they don't even sometimes they stop before they even get further because they already feel like they're being judged because they're trying to eat healthy and you're sitting here forcing your opinions on your throat and saying that like you know, nutrients don't matter, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, like, you know, it, it's just like, I don't know, all I can say for the probably 10th time I've said it, is there's a difference between explaining something to somebody so they can understand if they asked, or giving helpful advice when it's needed in a, in a proper and respectful way, versus shoving your opinions down people's throats in either sarcastic ways or through belittling people and making them feel stupid. And there's so much of it on social media, it drives me insane. If I see one more If It Fits Your Macros post where it, it makes somebody reading it that doesn't do that or doesn't read or, you know, doesn't whatever, doesn't believe in it, whatever, or doesn't know, feel stupid, I'm going to lose my mind because there's no reason to belittle other people just because your way is more optimal or because you think that you're so smart now all of a sudden because you count macros. Like, it just because you do flexible dieting and you hashtag science does not mean you've researched any of the science for it doesn't mean you have a one-up on everybody else just do you like why I don't know I don't understand why there's so much judgment like inform people that want to be informed and if you're going to inform people without them asking just be nice about it and be helpful like the whole point is to motivate others and be helpful like I never want to come across to people ever when I'm explaining any type of nutritional science training science, that I'm a know-it-all, or that I'm trying to one-up them. The point is to help the person, because I've been through diets that aren't sustainable. I've been through horrible mental battles with my body, with food. I've been through an eating disorder for three years. I don't want anybody to go through that. So when you're explaining the science to them, don't belittle them. Just simply explain it. Okay, so that was that.
Um, you don't have to put people down for asking questions either. Like, that's, I hate that. I don't know why, like, if somebody, if somebody, you know, has a different belief about nutrition and they ask you a question, don't belittle the person and, and make fun of them. Just answer the question. Like, I don't, I don't understand why, I don't know, I don't understand it. Okay, so on to the next topic is judgment in the gym. Like, now that's, that was actually what I was starting with. Then I got into flexible dieting. I'm sorry I'm rambling. This won't be, like, a super long video, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about judgment. Um, okay, I, I absolutely cannot stand when people are judgmental in the gym. And now, like I said before, like, most people aren't judgmental of overweight people in the gym anymore. Like, if they're, you know, it's pretty well respected, which it should be, like I said. Um, you know, if you're just starting your fitness journey and maybe you're a little overweight, don't be afraid. Like, if anybody is going to judge you, then they're not important you know, to talk to, like, just, just go in there and do you and know that you're working on yourself for you and you're getting a healthier body because you want your body to be healthier. It's your temple of God. Like you're, you know, to make your life longer, healthier, happier, just go in there to feel your best. You don't need to, the, the appearance part of it will come down the road, but the main thing is that you in the inside feel healthy. Like there's nobody that should sit there and judge you for it because everybody has problems. Everybody was a beginner. Nobody is perfect, and for someone to judge you is just, it. they should be judging themselves because we all have something to be judged for. All of us do. So there's no point. So if you're just hitting the gym, just be you, be confident, smile. If you see me in the gym ever, if you're local to me, just smile, talk to me. I love talking to other people. I come off really, like, probably unapproachable to the gym, but I promise I'm super nice. I'm just focused. Um, okay, so... Okay, there's the amount of, I go to LA Fitness, that's where mainly where I train at, I usually train at a different gym, but I work at LA Fitness, and so I'm there, like, literally I should have an apartment there, because I'm there 24-7, like, I literally spend probably 10 hours a day at LA Fitness between work and working out. So, the amount of people I see and talk to there with judgment, this topic, is kind of insane. I absolutely hate it, especially, it happens so much with young guys, and I hate the stigma that, why do people think that, like, guys don't have feelings. Like, the amount of, the amount of guys in there that make fun of other guys, it just breaks my heart because, like, those guys, they have no idea what the other person is going through. Many people come to the gym as a stress reliever, as, you know, a, a, a relief to whatever's going on in their house or in their life that, you know, I mean, to me, I run to the Lord, but a lot of people, and I also have the gym to, you know, like, that's something I love to do, and that's what a lot of other people do. So why, like, why are you going to sit there and judge somebody if they're not lifting as heavy as you? Or if they're doing an exercise maybe wrong. Like, maybe they're just beginning or maybe they're, you know, like, they don't know how to perform the exercise. What makes you think that you have, like, the right to sit there and make fun of them in front of other people and to belittle the person just because they're not doing something the way you think is correct or because they're not as strong as you? Like, I can't I, – I, the amount of – I just get so angry because there's so many good kids at my gym – and then I see kids getting made fun of, or just other guys, even older guys, just getting made fun of. Like, the amount of conversations that me and my boyfriend over here about, you know, so-and-so was doing this, and they're stupid, so-and-so isn't big enough, so-and-so is this. Like, why can't you just focus on you and not other people and stop belittling other people to make yourself feel better? Like, it just doesn't... And if you ever experience this with people making fun of you, I mean, I have. I'll, t I'll tell you in a minute, like, some of the things that have gone around about me, and I got really upset about it at first, and... I just kind of, after I really thought about it and prayed on it, like, why am I going to get upset over somebody that doesn't even know me and is just making assumptions for, I don't know, because they're bored, like, it, or whatever the case may be. If someone's judging you, you've just got to simply ignore it because the only, the only person that matters about judging you is the Lord, and the Lord loves you despite of anything you do, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, just repent to him and don't worry about anybody else. Like we, you know, we all have our problems. We all have our burdens. Like I don't, I don't understand what, what, why people think they have the right to talk about other people, to make fun of other people, to judge other people, especially in this industry when this industry is supposed to be about health, about like not it, health is not just physical. It's mental. It's emotional. It's spiritual. Like why, why in an industry where we're supposed to be healthy and bettering our lives is there's so much judgment, so much ridicule, and so much to the point where people feel like they need to do things that they to their body to look a certain way or to be a certain way. There's no reason to go out of your way to judge somebody else just because they're not doing what you're doing or they don't know as much as you. It just makes no sense. 
knowledge is power, yes, but when you use knowledge as a power against somebody to the point where you're belittling them and you're making fun of them and you're judging them, then you're just abusing that knowledge. And at that point, you're no longer applying it just because to yourself and applying it to, to better this sport. You're now simply just making yourself look like any other boastful person that would boast about clean eating. And I'm just going to use that flexible diet and clean eating scenario again because I hate that. The amount of people that are now ranting about flexible dieting and belittling others about it are just as bad as the clean eater people who, who rant about that and being so hardcore and all that kind of stuff. It's not important. Don't judge other people about it. It is literally the stupidest topic to even judge other people about. Like, it, it just doesn't even, I don't know. It doesn't even make sense to me. It's not even that important to me, to be honest. Like, it's just not, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Last part of judgment really quick. I'm kind of just rambling. I, I don't know. I just needed to vent to you guys, I guess, about this because, all right, I'm going to give you my personal little experience. So I had somebody that was talking bad about me in the gym and saying that I was on steroids and that I didn't train hard and that, like, I should be so much more muscular than I am now and because I've been training for so long, like, I don't know. All this stuff that is just completely untrue. The person sees me train every day, sees me, like, bust my butt, like, I don't look, I, I, I am sorry, but I'm a 100% natural athlete, and I don't think I look like I'm on steroids, so, but I just, and I don't even know this person, like, I can never talk to them, like, I just don't even, like, why, I don't even understand why it was a topic of conversation, so, I, I guess that's just, like, I don't know, I just can't comprehend of why people in general just think it's okay to talk about other people, like, you, like, if you're gonna judge someone, like, you must be really insecure about yourself, and I struggle, like, I struggle myself with judging others sometimes. We all do. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I struggle with judgment a lot sometimes. Sometimes, I, just like now, I'm judging people for judging other people, but you know what? Like, that's, that's what we do. You know, you have to repent of that, but basically what I'm saying is, is that, like, Everybody that comes into the gym has a story beyond the gym. Like, fitness is not everybody's entire lives. And I can't stand that the industry has become that to where it's, like, the center of people's lives. Like, when I – like, I'm sorry. The only – your life doesn't revolve around fit, fitness. This is not something that's, like, you should revolve your life around. It's a passion, yes. But when it becomes your entire life to the point where, like, now you're talking about – Talking badly and judging others in fitness that you don't even know is just people you follow on social media or whatever. Like, like, stop. <laughs> like, it just doesn't even, it's not bettering you, it's not bettering them. If you don't have anything nice to say about someone, don't say it at all. And I really, I just cannot stand. There's so many, there's actually there's a lot of older guys in my gym, probably like, you know, 30, that are so judgmental. Is they curse and they judge other guys and other girls about what they're doing, how they're training, what they're eating, like their bodies. Like if you if you don't ever judge somebody else's body, if that's one thing, like you have no right and no entitlement at all, whether you're a guy or a girl, to sit there and analyze somebody else's body at all. God made everybody beautiful, everybody in his image, and you have no right to sit there and say whether that person's body is beautiful or not, or tell someone they're fat, or talk about them being fat, or not muscular, or little, or small, or whatever the case may be. Do not talk about somebody else's body. Do not tell another guy he's small. Don't You don't know what kind of insecurity issues he has, and I hate that. I hate the amount of guys that belittle other guys in the gym, Girls that, that try to one-up other girls in the gym. Guys that talk badly about other girls in the gym. Girls talk badly about other guys in the gym. Everybody is there for a purpose. And some people's purpose is to get away from their problems at home. So don't make their problems worse. You have no idea what somebody is going through. You don't know if what you say to that person, you know, is the last straw for them to go kill themselves. You don't know that. You don't know if what you can say to someone can be the thing that saves them from killing themselves. You have no idea what somebody is going through. So stop with the judgment. The whole point of health and fitness is to better your life. And the only way you're going to better somebody else's life is to motivate them, to inspire them, to be encouraging to them. I would so much rather talk to somebody in the gym and encourage them about changing their life and encourage them to get closer to the Lord and encourage them to like, you know, to find love in Jesus versus, you know, try to push flexible dieting on them and, and 
try to, you know, like, fix their entire lifts, like, without even asking or, like, butt my nose in and give them my knowledge. Like, I'm not, like, the gym to me is an amazing place. I love my passion and fitness, but passion and fitness also brings a lot of people together, and it's great opportunities in the gym for you to talk to people about life. And instead of judging other people about what they're doing, ask them what they're going through. Go up to somebody, instead of calling them smaller, instead of making fun of the way they're lifting, ask them how their day is going, how their life is going. Why don't you maybe find out, maybe they're lifting a certain way and they're angry about something or they're upset about something and you have no idea what they're going through and now you just made it worse. Now you just made them angrier, sadder, and you never know what the outcome of that could be. Why don't you, instead of judging people, why can't we all in this industry just be the change, be the light in the industry, like bring people closer to God through fitness, bring people closer to their families, closer to their friends. The point of flexible dieting is to show people they can still enjoy their life and enjoy their friends and family without like, without having to restrict things, without having to go to extremes. The whole point of knowledge is to, is to, you know, okay, keto, for instance, the keto diet High fats, super low carbs, like, you know, moderate protein has been shown to cure cancer in different studies. So why not spread that knowledge? Maybe help somebody that you know has cancer. Like, have them, show them those studies. Don't sit there and be pushing, you know, like, the stupidest things on, you know, that are kind of irrelevant on social media, belittling others when you can instead be using your knowledge to help somebody. I'm sorry I'm ranting with this video, and I'm and I'm done now ranting for this but then I, I just kind of wanted to do a video like this where I can kind of get out my feelings to you guys and it not be, you know, an edited video. Kind of something like raw. I just wanted to talk. <sighs> Basically, judgment is really overlooked and it's masked with people who, even I follow some of the people still and I got to unfollow them. There's too many people in the industry that are looked at as inspirations when they're simply belittling others and masking it with science. And I cannot stand that. I'm not talking about anybody in specific. There's a bunch of people I can name. I'm not going to because I'm not going to judge those people. But what I'm saying is that if you really want to motivate and inspire people in this industry is going to change, you need to be a light in this industry. You need to you need to put life and feed life and speak life into other people that you see at the gym, anywhere in this industry, anywhere in life, and use the knowledge that you have to better somebody else and to get somebody else out of an eating disorder, to get them a healthier relationship with food, their family, anything but belittle them and use and abuse knowledge. Abuse and abuse authority. I cannot stand. That is one last thing. If you have a large following and if you have a chance to, to inspire a lot of people, Bring them closer to Jesus. Bring them closer to their families. Make Get into the deep parts of their heart besides just fitness. And the fitness aspect will come along with it when you talk about that. But you, you can't let's get to know people. Stop judging people in fitness and what they're doing in the gym and start getting to know the person for who they are inside and what they're going through because odds are you're going to make much more of an impression on their life, speaking life into their actual soul and their lives versus just fitness stop judging and use fitness as a passion to connect you with other people that you can help in life and that's all i'm gonna say stop judging people everybody is going through something you have no idea what somebody's going through so before you ever say anything reflect in your heart sit down with the lord reflect in yourself of why you're even going to say that about that person without even looking into your own self and speak life into the person. Take the person who you can tell is going through something, or maybe some of the people that aren't, just speak life into them. Speak to them. Just be there for them. It doesn't matter if it's fitness, family, friends, life. This industry and fitness itself is too prioritized in people's lives to the point where instead of it helping people, it is belittling people, and I really cannot take it. And there is so much judgment and I'm done rambling, but that is my two cents on judgment.